Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. The backstory on this one's pretty simple. I wanted to make another flannel, but this time with a new collar and incorporating new things I learned along the way, and I couldn't be happier with the results. This flannel, cardigan, cardigan flannel, whatever you want to call it, is super slouchy, perfect tied up, and a great way to use that pile of yarn you're not quite sure what to do with. Speaking of, if you need more ideas on what to do with your piles of yarn, you've come to the right place. I make cool crochet things from time to time, and I promise I'm friendly. So get subscribed if you haven't already, join the crew. Now, YouTube housekeeping aside, it's time to get to work, so without further ado. For this project, any category for yarn will work, but I use a total of 580 grams of yarn, that's 1300 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 6mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCD DIY for discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. Using five stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. Double crochet. And treble crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this piece started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 6mm hook. We're going to start off by making a chain that reaches from the base of your neck to the tip of your shoulder, making sure that it's in multiples of 3. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 24, and that's 6 inches or 15 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're going to do an extra chain, so now I have a total of 25. We're going to block off that extra chain and start with a chain 3. That counts as our turning chain. We're going to yarn over, preparing for a double crochet, then into that chain that we blocked off, or the fourth chain from our hook, I'm going to insert with a double. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, shut off the loop center hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do one more. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Continue to put one double crochet into every chain. Now that we have our first double crochet row, now we're going to start working on our basket weave. So they're going to be done in multiples of three, and it's going to be three front post treble crochet, three back post treble crochet, and then a repeat. So let's get that started. We're all going to start with a chain three and flip our work. Now into the second double crochet we have from our previous row, not counting our first one, we're going to yarn over twice. We're going to insert our hook behind the body of that double crochet. Just like that, we're going to yarn over, pull through. From here, we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That is our first front post treble crochet. Like I said, they're going to be done in sets of three, so let's do two more. Yarn over twice, insert your hook behind the body of that next double crochet, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, two, two. Once more. Yarn over twice, into the next double crochet, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now that we have our three front post treble crochets, we're now going to do a set of three back post treble crochets. So start with a yarn over two, and it's going to be done the same way, but we're inserting our hook behind our work now. So bring your hook behind your piece, then over the next body of our double crochet. So bring it over. And through the other side, yarn over, pull through. Pull through two, two, two. Let's do two more. Yarn over twice. Bring your hook underneath your work and over that next double crochet. Yarn over, pull through. Pull through two, two, two. And then once more, yarn over twice. Underneath our work and over the next double crochet. Pull through. Pull through two, two, two. 
Now we're going to repeat our sequence of three front post treble crochets and three back post treble crochets. So let's just get through that really quickly. Start with a yarn over of two into that next available double crochet. There is our first front post treble, yarn over twice. Into the next, there is our second front post treble. Once more, there is our third front post treble. Now let's do our set of three back posts. So yarn over two times, over that next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, 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 yarn over twice, over the next double crochet, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now we have one more left to do, so yarn over twice, pull through, pull through two, two, two. And that's it. We're going to keep repeating our set of three front post trebles and three back post trebles until we reach the end of this row. I'll meet you guys back so that we can put one double crochet into the last chain from our previous row to close this row off. We made our way all the way down with our front post trebles and our back post trebles. And we should now have one stitch left so that we can double crochet into there to close off this row. So what we're going to do is yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row with a double crochet. And now our row number two is all closed off. Now we're going to get started on row number three. To start with a chain three and flip our work. We're going to want to extend our previous row. So since these look like front post treble crochets, but if we're looking at it this way, they were actually back post treble crochets. Since these look like front post treble crochets, we're going to be doing front post treble crochets there so that we can extend this. So we're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook. There is one front post treble. There is two front post treble. And then here is our third. And now, since the next set is back post trebles, we're going to do three back post treble crochets to extend that as well. So insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then do two more. Turn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 turn over twice into that last back post, pull through two, two, there we go, and two. And from here, we're going to continue to do our sets of three front post trebles and back post trebles all the way down until we have one stitch left so that we can close this row off again. All right, so we are about to finish off our row number three. We have done our front post trebles and back post trebles all the way down. And just like our previous row, we're going to close off with a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch with a double crochet. And we're going to still do our basket weave stitch, but now we're going to reverse the next side. So start with a chain three and flip our work. Now, starting with our row number four, we're going to do three sets of the opposite from our previous row. So just as an example, since these are three front post treble crochets, we're now going to do three back post treble crochets. So yarn over twice, insert your hook over that treble crochet. There's our first back post into that next. This is our second back post. And this is our third back post. So this is what three back posts looks like on top of three front posts. And now we're going to do a set of three front posts because these are back posts. So yarn over, insert. There's our first front post. There is our second front post, and there is our third front post. And we're going to continue this sequence. So three back posts, three front posts, three back posts, three front posts, all the way down. And I'll meet you guys back to close off this row with another double crochet. All right, so our row number four is all finished. Now we need to double crochet into the last row to close it off. So yarn over once into the last stitch from our previous row with a double crochet. And then from here, we're going to extend the previous row that we just did, just like how we did for our previous section. So start with a chain three and flip our work. 
Since this looks like three back post treble crochets, we're going to do three back post treble crochets into here. So yarn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 yarn over twice, pull through, pull through two, 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 yarn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. Now that we have that, we have our three front posts. So we're going to do three front posts into there. But twice insert with our first there is our second and there is our third and from here we're going to continue to extend each of these sets of three all the way down and i'll meet you guys back at the end of this row our row number five is all finished and we need to double crochet into the last stitch just like that once we have our basket weave section done, we are going to always do a half double crochet, back loop slip, and half double crochet row. So let's do that together. Starting with our first half double crochet row, we're going to chain two, flip our work, and make our way all the way down, putting one half double crochet into every stitch. So to get that started, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through. Should have three loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do a few more. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through, pull through three, and doing one more, yarn over, next stitch, pull through, pull through three. And you continue to put one half double crochet into every stitch. Our half double crochet row is all finished. Now we're going to do a row of back loop slip stitches to get a really nice rib. We're going to chain one, flip our work. We're going to insert our hook into that first available stitches back loop. So instead of inserting your hook in through both of these loops, insert the hook into the loop that's furthest away from us, yarn over, and pull through everything. Let's do this again. Into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. We made our way down with our back loop slip stitch row. So from here, we're going to chain two. Flip our work and we're going to do a row of back loop half double crochets to maintain this rib. So just to do the first one, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitches, back loop with a half double crochet. Continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Our eighth row or our back loop half double crochet row is all finished. We're now going to do one double crochet row. So from here, do a chain three. Flip your work and put one double crochet into every stitch. We have put one double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way down. And now from here, we're going to repeat rows two through nine, and we're going to keep doing this all the way down until this reaches where we want the split to be and where it's going to start curving in. I will meet you guys back after a double crochet row, and if you need the timestamps, they will be in the description. So I'm just going to start the next row off with you guys and let you guys do the rest on your own. Since we just did a double crochet row, we're all going to start with a chain three, flip our work, and start with three front post treble crochets. Going over twice, working into the double crochet row, into that second double crochet that we have, insert with our first with our second, and then with our third. Next, to a set of three back post treble crochets and repeat. I'll meet you guys back when we have this length finished up. The length of my panel is now all finished. I have a total of 41 rows, and this is 21 and a half inches or 55 centimeters. And now we're going to start working on our scoop. We should have all ended on our double crochet row, and now we're going to continue with the same repeat but we're going to do a decrease of two into the first two stitches. So what we're gonna do is a chain three, and we're going to prepare for our front post treble crochet decrease of two. So yarn over twice. Taking a look at our double crochet row, we're gonna skip that first double crochet, which is what we always do, then insert your hook, find the second and the third double crochet at the same time. So insert underneath the second, and underneath the third. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, 
whole through two. And since these are all worked in sets of three, and we took up two stitches right here, we're going to do one more front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice, into that next stitch, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. And then from here, we're going to work the rest of the row the same way that we normally would. So three back posts, three front posts, work our way down to the end, double crochet into that last stitch. Chain three, flip our work, and then continue on with the next row, just like this one, all the way down until we have just one more set left to do, and then we're gonna decrease into the last two stitches again. All right, so we have made our way all the way down to our second scoop row, and now we're gonna need to do another decrease because we want this to scoop in. So the last two stitches that I have are two back post treble crochets and then my double crochet. Into the last post stitches, we're always going to do our decrease, and this double crochet is going to stay the same. So yarn over twice, and then just like how we started off our previous row with doing a decrease of two front post treble crochet, we're going to do a decrease of two here. So we did a yarn over of two, then into those next two stitches, or our last two for this row, insert my hook behind, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now we have another decrease. Yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, chain three, and flip our work. So we're always going to do a decrease along one edge, and then the other side is going to stay blunt. So let's get started on our next basket we row together. So since this is our third basket we row, we're going to need to do reverse from our previous row. My first stitch is a front post treble crochet, and then I have a set of three back posts. So for this next row, we're going to have to start with a decrease of two front post treble crochets. What we're going to do is yarn over twice, insert your hook behind that first and behind the second, even though one is front and one is back. You're going to yarn over, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then continue on with this row. So since we have two back post treble crochets, we're going to do two more front posts. There's one, there's two, and then continue all the way down. Don't forget to do the double crochet at the end of this row, do a chain three, flip our work, and work our way back down, leaving two. So I've made my way all the way down. I have left the last three stitches, and now we're going to do our decrease. So into the third to last stitch, we're going to do the same thing that we did for our previous row. So there goes my back post treble, and now we're going to do our decrease. So yarn over twice, insert your hook over the second to last, and last stitch to do a decrease of two back post treble crochets. Yarn over once, insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row, with a double crochet. Do a chain two and flip our work. And now that our basket weave section is done, we're going to still repeat the half double crochet, back loop slip stitch, half double crochet row, but we're gonna decrease into there as well. So after our chain two, we're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, next stitch pull through, pull through all four loops, and put one half double crochet into every stitch, we reach the end, do a chain one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch until we have two stitches left. Now that we've made our way all the way down with our back loop slip stitch row, we're now going to do a decrease. So into the second to last, we're going to yarn over, pull through. Into that last back loop, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, and pull through everything that's on our hook. And that is how we do our decrease. And we're going to need to decrease into every row, so our next row is a half double crochet. So chain two, flip your work, yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through. Next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four. And continue to put one back loop, half double crochet into every stitch. And just as a reminder, when you reach the end, do a chain three, flip your work, put one double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two. I'll show you how to do a decrease of two double crochets. And then the rest is going to be a repeat of these decreases we just did together. All right, so we have double crocheted all the way down. Into the last two stitches, let's do our decrease. Yarn over, insert your hook into that second to last, pull through. Into that last, pull through, 
should have four loops on a hook. So yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two, chain three, flip your work, and then repeat. So just to do the first one with you guys, we're going to yarn over twice, skip the first double crochet from our previous row, which is the decrease that we just did, then into the second and third, do your decrease of two front post treble crochets. Insert behind our second and our third with your front post treble. And then from here, make your way all the way down and repeat. And I'll meet you guys back when I get to my preferred length. And in the next slip, I'll let you guys know how many rows I have and my measurements. I'm back with my decrease portion and I now have a total of 56 rows. And the total length that I have is 29 and a half inches or 75 centimeters. I did do a chain up of one and cut. And what we're gonna do here is repeat the blunt portion that we had all the way up until we started doing our decreases. So go ahead and do the same chain count, same amount of rows, and then I will meet you guys back. I just finished up the blunt portion of my other front panel. And now we need to do our decrease portion. It's gonna be done in the opposite side because we have these ribs that we wanna keep in the front. So what we're gonna do from here is continue with the same set of three front post trebles and three back post trebles, making our way all the way down until we have three stitches left. And I'll show you guys how to decrease. All right, we have made our way all the way down with our set of three front post and three back post treble crochets. And we have three stitches left. So into this last set, we're going to start it off the same way that we normally would. So since my last set was front post treble crochets, we're gonna yarn over twice and work into that third to last stitch with one back post treble crochet. And just like what we did on the other side, we're now gonna do a decrease of two back post treble crochets. So yarn over twice, bring our hook underneath our work, and then over the second to last and last stitch, we're going to do our front post treble and double crochet into that last stitch. Do a chain of three, flip our work, and I'm just gonna get this row started off with you guys, and the rest is going to be pretty much a repeat like our other side, but instead of starting with decreases, it's going to be on the other side. So since we need to start with a set of two front post treble crochets, let's do that. Yarn over twice, insert your hook behind that first and second post, pull through, pull through two, two, two. And from here, continue on with your set of three back post and front post treble crochets. We're going to keep repeating these rows with a decrease into the end of every row all the way until we have the same amount of rows as our other front panel. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. I've just finished up my other front panel, and we are all done with both. Now we're going to get started on the back. So getting started on the back panel, it's going to be done exactly like the front panels, but just a little bit longer. We're going to start off by making a chain that reaches from shoulder tip to shoulder tip, and it still needs to be in multiples of three. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 57, and that's 15 inches or 38 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're going to do one extra chain, block off that extra chain, and start with the chain of three that counts as our turning chain. We're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the fourth chain from our hook, with a double crochet, and we're going to put one double crochet into every chain. After that, we're going to do our rows of basket weave, and then our half double crochet, back loop slip stitch, back loop half double crochet row, just like how we did for the front panel. We're going to keep doing that for the same amount of rows that we have as the front panel, and that's a total of 41 for me. I'll go ahead and get the blunt portion of the back panel finished up, then I'll meet you guys back so that we can work on the scoop. All right, the majority of my back panel is all finished. Now we're going to do the scoop. The scoop is gonna be done the same way that we did the front panels, but because we did it in halves for the front, we're going to decrease on the end on this side and on the end on this side. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to start this off just to remind you. We're going to start with a chain three because we're starting with our basket weave stitch row. Yarn over two. We're gonna insert our hook behind the second and third double crochet from our previous row. So there's one. There's two, pull through with a front post treble crochet. We're gonna do one more front post treble crochet. And then since this took up two stitches, and here's one, here's one, two, three. So now we're going to go in with our back post treble crochets. We're gonna keep doing this until we have two stitches left, decrease into the last two, and so on and so forth, just like how we did for the front panels until we get the length that we like. Then I will meet you guys back.
All right, so I have just finished the entirety of my back panel, and I ended up having the same amount of rows as my front panel, so a total of 56. I did do a chain of one and cut, and the next thing we're going to have to do is single crochet along the edge of the back panel and our front panels so that we can seam everything together. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it with the front panel because it's going to be pretty much the same way all the way around. So taking a look at our front panel, we're all going to insert our hook into the corner stitch of the front panel that's on the same side as our curve. We'll do the inside once we do our inner border later. Well, all we're going to do is insert our hook into that corner stitch, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. Now for every side double crochet row that we have, we're going to put two single crochets. So that's going to be this first row and then all of our basket weave rows. So let's do the first bit together. This is our first row. So insert your hook into there with one and then with two single crochets. This is my next row, which is our first basket weave row. So insert with one and two, and we're going to keep doing that until we hit our half double crochet row. Here it is. One, two, one, two. This is my last double crochet row, so there's my one and two. Now for our half double and our side slip stitch rows, we're going to be putting one single crochet into each of those. So this is my side half double. I'm going to insert with one. This is my side slip stitch. I'm going to have to find that outside loop and single crochet into there. And this is my next side half double, so one into there. And then from here is a bunch of side double crochets or basket weaves, so go back to putting two single crochets into each of these side double crochet rows. For the front panel, we're going to keep doing this until we make our way all the way down to the curved sides corner. Like I said, we're going to do the length later. We're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side, and let me just talk you guys through how to do the back panel. Now, same rules apply for the back panel. We're going to continue our single crochets, making our way all the way down. The only difference is that we are going around the curve and back up the other side. Once we reach our last row, depending on what it is for you, we're just going to continue on with that curve. No increases, no decreases, nothing fancy. Just put one single crochet into each of these stitches that we have, and then go back to the sequence, working our way back up. Go ahead, get all this done, and I'll meet you guys back. From here, we are going to seam our front and our back panel together. So go ahead and lay your back panel out, making sure that our rib from our back loop slip stitch row is faced up towards us. And grab one of your front panels. And we're going to lay it down so that the rib is faced down towards the back panel. And then we want to make sure that the curve for the front panel is aligned with the curve for the back panel. So since this one's curved on this side, we are on the right side. And then we're going to seam the top. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our hook into the corner stitch of the front panel and into the corner stitch of the back panel. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one. And from here we're going to single crochet, making sure we're going into both the front and back panel at the same time. So let's do the first few. Into that next stitch, into the front panel, insert your hook into there, and into the next stitch, into the back panel. Insert your hook into there, and then we're going to single crochet. Let's do another. Into the next stitch into the front panel, insert your hook. Next stitch into the back panel, insert your hook. And then we're going to single crochet. We're going to keep single crocheting all the way down until we don't have any more loops left to go into, into the front panel. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. Now that our shoulders are seamed, we can now get started on the sleeve, but we're going to have to seam our sides first. So the first thing we're going to do is try this on and insert our stitch marker into the stitch where we want our sleeve to start, keeping in mind that this does still need to be in multiples of three. So from the top, counting all the way down, I inserted my stitch marker into my 21st stitch, and this is 6 inches or 15 centimeters. I made sure I did the same thing on the back side as well. From here, we're going to flip our work inside out and then we're going to start with our seam. So we're going to start our seam by inserting our hook into the stitch that's right next to our stitch markers going down towards the bottom. Insert our yarn onto our hook, 
pull through to a chain of a one to secure. And we're going to seam the same way that we did the shoulders and we're going to go down all the way until we reach where we start to do our curve. Or you guys can have yours up higher or lower, depending on you guys. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into that first stitch into the front panel, first stitch into the back panel, and then we're going to single crochet. Let's do one more. Next stitch into the front panel, next stitch into the back panel, single crochet, and keep going all the way down until you want your slit to start. Do a chain up one cut and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. All right, so we have just finished seaming our side and now we're going to get started on the sleeve. We're going to flip our work right side out again and we're going to insert our hook into the stitch that's nearest to our side seam. So since this is my side seam right here, I'm actually going to insert my hook into that stitch that's connected to the side seam. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook and start with a chain three. Now this chain three doesn't count as a stitch, we just want the height for our first row. And we want to make sure that we're working counterclockwise because we want our rib to face outwards once when we get there. So from here, it's going to be the same sequence as the body. So we're going to start with a double crochet row. So making sure we're going counterclockwise again, just put one double crochet into every stitch and I'll meet you guys back. We don't have any more to show you guys how to connect it. We put one double crochet into every stitch and now to connect our sleeve, we're going to slip stitch into the third chain that we made when we started this row off. So count of one, two, three, slip stitch into that chain to close off this row. Now, since our next row is a basket weave row, we're going to chain three and flip our work and do the same sequence of basket weave stitches that we have been doing. So three front post, three back post, and then continue that making our way all the way around. When we reach the end of that row, we're going to slip stitch into the third stitch again flip our work, and then do the same thing. So I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, we have made our way down with our first basket made row, and we're going to now connect it. So just like our previous row, we're going to count up one, two, three chains, slip stitch into that third chain. Now we're always going to do a chain of whatever row we're doing, and then flip. Since we're doing a basket weave row, we're going to do a chain up of three and flip. And getting started on our row number three, we're going to have to extend our previous row, so since this looks like front post treble crochets, we're going to do our front post treble crochets. Getting started on our next row, it's going to be done with the opposite stitches, and the row after that, we're going to extend that. So get our four rows of basket weave stitches done, and then I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on our half double crochet row together. Okay, so I am back, and I have just finished up going in with my five rows. And that was my first double crochet row. So here's one, two, three, four and five rows. Now we're going to do the same sequence of half double, back loop slip, and back loop half double. I'm just going to show you guys how to start it and then we'll move on from there. So I've already done my slip stitch into that third chain. I'm going to chain two, still flip my work, which my work's already flipped, and make my way around putting one half double crochet into every stitch. When we don't have any more stitches left, we're going to slip stitch into that second chain that we made, chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making sure that the ribbing is faced outwards. And then do our back loop half double crochet row. I'll meet you guys back. We're about to get started on our next double crochet row so that we can do some decreases. All right, so we have just finished up our first section of our sleeve, which is our entire basket weave section. Half double crochet, back loop slip, and back loop half double crochet row. And we're going to get started on the next section, and it's all going to start with a double crochet row for everyone. But from here, we are going to want to decrease just a little bit, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So we've slip stitched into that second chain, and from here, we're going to chain three in order to work our way up to the next row, and flip your work. Now, only for our double crochet row, we're going to have our decreases, and we're going to have a set of three decrease of twos next to each other in the beginning and at the end of the row. So let's get that started. Start with the yarn over, insert your hook into that next loop, pull through, next stitch, pull through. Yarn over, pull through three, pull through two, and we're going to do two more. So insert, pull through, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, two, we have one more left to do. Yarn over, insert, pull through, Insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two. 
and then from here put one double crochet into every stitch until we have a total of six stitches left and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do our decrease together one more time. All right, so I have put one double crochet into every stitch and we have left one, two, three, four, five, and six stitches left. So now we're going to do our set of three decreases. So yarn over, insert into that next stitch, pull through, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, pull through two. We're gonna do two more. Yarn over, insert, pull through, insert, pull through, pull through three, pull through two, second to last, pull through, last, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two, and then we're going to slip stitch it into the third chain that we made to close off this row. So count of one, two, three. Slip stitch into that third chain, and now we're going to get started on our basket weave section. Everything else is going to be completely normal. So do a chain three, Flip your work and start with your set of three front post treble crochets and onward. And if you guys still want to keep decreasing, go ahead and decrease only into the double crochet rows like we did, and then I'll meet you guys back when we're ready to get started on our arm slit. So right after a back loop half double crochet row when we're about mid forearm. I now have the length in my sleeve and I'm just about mid forearm. I have a total of 24 rows, and this is a total of 12 inches or 31 centimeters. And from here, we're going to start working on our sleeve split. Now, the pattern is going to be done exactly the same way that we've been doing it. All we're going to do is make sure that we don't connect it. So, I ended on my half double crochet row. So, to get started on the next, all I'm going to do is do a chain three because my next row is a double crochet. Put one double crochet into every stitch. When we reach the last stitch, do a chain three, flip my work, and then do my basket weave stitch all around. So, we're going to leave this open. I'm going to keep doing this until I get the length of the sleeve that I want, and then I'll meet you guys back. The entirety of my sleeve is all finished, and I have a total of 32 rows, and this length is 15 inches or 38 centimeters. I did do a chain of a bonnet cut. Once we have this, we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. Now that both of our sleeves are done, we can now get started on our front border. I already have one of mine done, so let's get started on the next one. We're first going to insert our stitch markers into the first half double crochet row coming from our shoulder seam. So as you guys can see, this is our double crochet, all of our basket weave stitch rows, and then my first half double crochet row right before my back loop slip stitch row. I'm going to insert my stitch marker into there, into both sides, and then now I can go in with our front border. So inserting your hook into the corner stitch of the front panel, inserting our yarn onto our hook, pull through to a chain of a one. We're going to single crochet all the way up until we reach our stitch marker. So put one single crochet into every side half double and side slip stitch row, and then two single crochets into every side double crochet row. So let's just get the first few started. I ended on a half double crochet row. I'm going to insert my hook into that first side half double crochet with one. My next row is a side slip stitch row. I'm going to find that top loop, single crochet with one. And then next is another side half double, so insert with one. Next, we have our side double crochets. So into this first one, I'm going to put two single crochets. There's one, and then there's two. We're going to keep doing this all the way up until we reach our stitch marker. We've made our way all the way up to our stitch marker with our single crochet row. And now all we're going to do is do a chain three, flip our work, and put one double crochet into every stitch. So just to do the first one with you guys, we're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into that first stitch with a double crochet. Keep doing this all the way down when we don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up a one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. All right, so we have just finished both of our front panels. And now we're going to get started on the collar. We're first going to need to single crochet from the corner of our front panel all the way around to the other corner. So we're going to insert our hook into the one of the corners. Bring your hook through. To a chain up of one to secure, and then into our first side double crochet, we're going to insert with two single crochets. So there is one, and then there is two. From here, we're going to work into the front panel the same way that we've been working into it. So we're going to put two single crochet into every side double crochet row, work our way all the way back, putting one single crochet into each of these stitches in the back, and then repeat all the way down until we reach this corner, and then I'll meet you guys back. 
Okay, my single crochet has made its way all the way around to this next corner, and now we're going to do a double crochet row. So nothing fancy, we're just going to start with a chain three, and put one double crochet into every stitch. When we reach this corner, do a chain up a one and cut, and I'll meet you guys back. We've made our way all the way around with our double crochet collar, and now we're going to work on the length. So what we're going to do is first insert our stitch marker into the second stitch in from the edges on both sides. Next, we're going to pick a side and then insert our hook into the next stitch. So the third stitch in from the edge. Insert your yarn onto your hook. Pull through. And from here, I'm going to make a chain the length that I want my collar to be. And I want mine to be about 2 inches or 10 centimeters. So I'm going to make a chain of 8. Now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off my last chain. Do a chain of 3. That counts as my turning chain. Then yarn over, and then inserting my hook into that chain that we blocked off, I'm going to insert my hook with a double crochet. We're going to put one double crochet into every chain. And now that we've put one double crochet into every chain, we now need to attach it into the collar. Now I want this to fan out, so we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch to close off this row. So into the next available stitch, insert with one slip stitch. And to work our way up to the next row, we're only going to slip stitch up one stitch, flip our work, and then put one double crochet into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain of three, flip our work, and put one double crochet into every stitch. And we're going to connect it into the base the same way that we just did, making our way all the way around to the next stitch marker. We'll meet you guys back as we have made it all the way over there. Alright, so to do some finishing touches, we are going to add our buttons to our sleeve. So what we're going to do is decide what side we want our button to lay on. I want my button to be along the front when I'm wearing it. And then from here, with my 18 millimeter shank button, I'm going to insert the loop that I have along the bottom of my button in between the half double crochet and the basket weave stitch row. And I'm going to insert it right in between the first and second half double crochet along the edge. So all I'm going to do is insert that right into that loop that we have. And from here, I'm going to weave in an end and just tie a really tight knot. And now that our button is through, we're going to cut the edges and tie it nice and secure and do the same thing to the other side. Our ends are woven in and our basket weave top. It is all done and super cute. This texture and ribbing is right up my alley. I love this lid on the side that can show off some hip action or some cute shorts. How would you wear it? Let me know in the comments. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us how old you were when you had your first crush. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it really, really helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always, y'all, thank you so much for watching, and see y'all in the next one.